We present a method which takes a simple description of an adversarial game as input and fully automatically builds a real-time controller. We achieve this by solving a game theory problem between an agent and an opponent character. Our method generates controllers that exhibit both convincing motion and an intelligent use of randomness. These controllers choose motions based on their immediate and potential future rewards and can adapt to characters which behave non-optimally. We will start by showing some of the shortcomings of previous techniques for solving this sort of problem. Previous approaches for generating adversarial controllers have typically employed an alternating minimax approach, henceforth referred to as simply a minimax approach. These methods require that one character's moves be considered before the others, giving the first character a disadvantage and generating deterministic motions. Here we switch to an overhead view to illustrate how the policies for the characters in a minimax approach vary with respect to their positions. These policies describe the character's planned future motion. Notice how these policies are always deterministic, and because the agent makes its decision second, avoids the opponent's tackle. This means that the characters will behave deterministically, always responding the same way to a particular situation. This leads to repetitive animations and predictable gameplay. This shortcoming is even more pronounced in the sword fighting game. Here, the character choosing to move second has an obviously unrealistic advantage, essentially predicting the opponent's move before it happens. In most cases, these animations look highly unintelligent. Since randomness is a necessity in video games, some people have considered adding randomness on top of a minimax approach. Although this is tempting, it is difficult to do correctly, as the optimal degree of randomness changes depending upon the situation. For instance, here, the opponent has many available actions, but only one makes sense. Even if we select randomly from only the top three actions, this leads to unrealistic behavior. Our method deals with these situations correctly. Our approach, on the other hand, treats the characters as acting simultaneously, naturally leading to an intelligent use of randomness in selecting their motions. In this example, the width of the arrow corresponds to the probability that the character will execute that action. Note how the agent chooses a deterministic policy when it is easiest to simply run away from the opponent. However, when the characters face head-to-head, -head, the agent can best avoid being caught by randomly choosing between a dodge to the left or to the right. We can evaluate this use of non-determinism by drawing a color map, which ranges from purple, for states with deterministic policies, to red, for states that require highly non-deterministic policies. These are drawn as a function of the agent's position, while holding the opponent fixed. So, for instance, when the characters are directly facing each other, the agent performs best by behaving highly unpredictably, whereas, to the side, a more deterministic policy is better. Even our simple motion model gives rise to a surprisingly rich structure for this non-determinism, which would be very difficult to encode by hand. Our method does this fully automatically, and also captures how this changes if the characters are facing at different angles. It also automatically determines, for instance, that when the characters are walking, they are moving too slowly for non-determinism to be of any use. In addition to exhibiting intelligent non-determinism, our controllers also generate convincing animations. Our characters exhibit nuanced strategies also seen in real-life games, such as the use of quick footsteps to keep the opponent guessing as to which way they will dodge. In this animation, notice how the agent uses a feint which leaves the opponent blocking overhead while the agent attacks from the side. Many of these examples were generated from the same starting conditions, showing the advantages of our intelligent non-determinism. Our method makes decisions by incorporating long-term planning using a value function. Here we show the immediate rewards in the tag game, plotted as a function of the agent's position. Notice how these rewards are invariant to the relative orientations of the two players. The value function, however, captures the dependency of future rewards in this game on the current orientation of the characters. This animation was generated using only the reward function. Notice how the opponent fails to react properly to the agent and runs straight ahead when a turn would be more appropriate. With the value function, however, we achieve the correct behavior. In a sword game, we only give a reward when one character hits the other. This is a very poor guide for the character's actions because the character cannot recognize an incoming attack until it is too late. The value function allows our characters to react more appropriately.